In this problem, a small pith ball is going to be suspended in an electric field from a string. And the electric field is uniform. We can tell that by the parallel field lines. And the ball is observed to deflect to the right. The string is making an angle of 10 degrees with the vertical. There is gravity in the situation. First, we're asked to draw some plates that could be creating this field. Fields point from positive to negative. So our right plate must be the positive. Left plate is the negative. We want to draw a force diagram for the pith ball. So this is going back to physics one. I'll let a dot represent my pith ball. I want to draw all the forces that would act on it. There would be a force of gravity, its weight. There will be a tension force. FT and the tension force has to be just long enough so that the vertical component of it is equal and opposite to the weight. And we can label that as FTY. The reason why I do it dashed is I don't want it to look like it's a force of its own. It's just a component of FT. FT is the real force. FTX and FTY are just for analysis. Uh, okay, so we've got F FTX pulling to the left. So in order for this pith ball to be in equilibrium, there must be one more force acting here. And that force is an electric force. F with a little subscript E for electric. All right, we're asked to find the magnitude of the electric force on this pith ball. So first of all, what's the sign of the charge on the pith ball? Well, something's causing it to want to pull to the right, right? Uh, so it must be a negative because negatives would be attracted to positives. Now, uh, let's go ahead and find out how much is the weight on this pith ball. I'll use the formula Fg equals Mg. It's a small mass. Okay, our weight is 0 0.00245 Newtons. That means that FTY must also be 0 0.00245 Newtons. They have to balance. We know that because our pith ball doesn't accelerate up or down. It just stays where it is. So the Y components have to be balanced and the X components have to be balanced too. Let's use our FTY to find FT. I'm going to use this formula. FTY is FT times the sine of the theta of T in standard position. The theta of T in standard position would be measured this way. Uh, it's going to be 100 degrees, actually. So let's see, we'll plug in. Ft is 0 0.00249 newtons. Okay. Now we'd like to find Ftx.
it's a negative point zero 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 four three two newtons. This tells us that the electric force must also be positive point zero 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 four three two newtons. Next, we're asked, what is the sign of the charge on the pith ball? Uh, we had already said it was negative. Next question says, if the magnitude of the charge on the pith ball is 8.64 times 10 to the minus 7 coulombs, what strength of field would be required for this deflection? For that, we're going to use our formula Fe equals Qe. This formula is similar to the weight formula in Newton's laws. Uh, the weight formula would be Fg equals mg involving gravitational field and mass. Here we're dealing with electric field and charge. Okay, so let's plug in everything we have. When it comes to our Q, if we just want the strength of it, we can uh, use the absolute value. E is 500 newtons per coulomb.